All right, welcome back. On this one, I'm actually gonna go through uh, spin and when to sort of use it, how you can use it um, in different ways to maneuver the white ball around the table. So, here we go. First one, we're on the yellow and we're a little bit straight and we wanna screw back. Obviously, if you use a uh, straight bottom, you'll come back to here and to here, and you probably won't land on the black. So, just to show you. So, this is just bottom. So, you can see how you're going to need a bit more power to go to there, and then even back to here and back to there. So, using uh, a different way, we can uh, play bottom right, on the white ball and this will make the white ball spin and flick off down in this direction so we pretty much want to come back to here to here to land on the black so now we have the same shot but we're going to play bottom right and you can see how we've used the, the side to flip the white ball off and head down this way to land on the black. So that's one way you can use side to help you uh, manipulate an angle to get onto the black ball. So number two, situation like this, if we were to play this plain ball and come around the angles, we'd probably miss the black and end up on pretty much this line. So just to show you, this is just plain ball. So you can see how the white ball's coming down this line. So we want to try and sharpen up that angle and come down and land in this area. So what we do is we just move from plain ball to pretty much, say, three o'clock on the white ball. So there's plain ball there. We move across to about three o'clock. We come around and then you can see now how we've taken a sharper angle and we've landed nicely on the black. So go from the centre and then just move across to about 3 o'clock. So the same shot and then allow the white ball to come around on that angle to land on the black. So here's another situation here. We're on the reds, we want to get to the black. And sometimes it's not just as easy as to pot the red and sort of try and screw back into the uh, into the cushion here to try and land on the black because we could go in off or let's just say there was a couple of uh, couple of balls in our way, sort of something like this. So now we can't actually, you know, screw back this way. So what we want to do is we want to pretty much again this time we want to try and come around the angle. So come to here. This cushion, this cushion, this cushion, and then back, back around. <clears throat> so this cushion, this cushion, this cushion, and then back around to this cushion. And the way we do that is we play uh, roughly around about nine o'clock on the white ball. So we find the center, we come across to nine, nine o'clock. And you can see that we're heading in that direction and we land nicely on the black for an easy black. So again, just by moving from center ball to either nine o'clock, three o'clock, we don't necessarily have to move uh, in, in different directions, but we can just, in certain situations like this, like this, you can actually just keep it simple. And you can see by just playing uh, from from center straight to nine o'clock you can see how you can in a way you stun the white ball across and then using that side spin to spin the cue ball around into the path where you want it so again just take practice all right num number four we've just landed ourselves just off straight so if i knock this in the white ball is going to go to the jaw here or if i screw back the white ball is going to come back to here so i'm going to play at one o'clock on the white ball, give it that spin off the rail and head down here. We also need a bit of top spin as well, that's why we're going up to one o'clock quite high. 
quite high. On the clock. And you can see how we've got the spin and also we've got the top. So as the white ball will hit the object ball, it then flip forward, we've got that momentum, and then with the side, come off the rail, back down here, and land us nicely on the black. Another little exercise you can do to try and see if you're queuing straight or if you're actually putting unwanted side this time on the white ball is just to queue up and down the table at a bit of pace and see if the white ball comes back directly down on the queue like this. So you can see then how it went up and went down dead straight so I know where I'm aiming. Um, sometimes people think they're aiming in the centre and then as they hit the white ball it actually flicks a little bit off to the side and they miss the cue and they think they're aiming in the middle so then they can make their adjustments and then get better that way. So um, hope you like these couple of tips, uh, look they aren't going to happen overnight, take your time, enjoy them, um, practice them and you will get better. It's, it's, it's also um, a bit of fun to see what you can do, what your cue can do. So, you know, it's, it's nice to experiment sometimes um, and seeing what you're actually capable of. Sometimes you might just need to pull out a big shot in a frame or in a match to um, get yourself through. So again, thanks for all the support. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.